And here we are, folks, with our Twitch Championship match. Matt Cardona, the self-proclaimed internet champion, gets his opportunity at Bobby Roode in the Twitch title. Here at Where's Wrath in Buffalo. Obviously, Cardona's in a little bit of enemy territory that he's in upstate New York, not on Long Island. Yeah, we're actually closer to Toronto than we are in Long Island, but I digress. Matt Cardona is always ready. But is he ready to defeat Bobby Roode and take the Twist Championship here tonight? defense number five here tonight at West Wrath and if he is successful in retaining the championship he can qualify to use option C on the twist championship to cash it in for a world title opportunity Rude is only the Second person to ever get to five defenses of the Twitch Championship. In the history of this company. But can he succeed in that venture if he gets to it? Can he succeed in that venture where Mastiff couldn't and successfully win the world title? Remains to be seen. Even if this is a surprise that we even got this far, because last week on Strike Zone, Rude had to defend the championship against Montez Ford, and that was a great matchup for Montez. And we saw Montez win his match earlier on against Angelo Dawkins. So the future is bright for Montez Ford. And a big opportunity for Matt Cardona. To possibly walk out of here as champion. We still got two more championship matches to go here, folks. We got the women's title and the world title. Twitch side or the tag titles were successfully defended, so to wait and see what happens here to set the pace for the rest of the show. Wastelock takedown by Cardona. And now Rude into the wrist the waist control to the rear headlock by Cardona. Although you don't really see it often, Cardona is a technically profound wrestler. Off the ropes, back elbow by Rude. Arm drag by Cardona. Colored elbow tie up Rude shakes off Cardona into a clothesline, dumping R Cardona out on the floor. And Bobby letting everyone know that he is glorious in the process. Side suplex there by Cardona. Inside right kicks. Now it's just a brawl outside the ring. And Cardona with a dragon screw takedown of his own. The leg whip. Where if we had a count of five, these two know. Swing net breaker. Can't win the title outside the ring. You gotta do it inside. At least for Cardona, Rude could care less. He can retain the title by count out. 
I don't think Rude wants that either. Off the rubs being back up, but this time from Cardona. Cardona again on her side, suplex. Throwing up the LI here, and Buffalo only oh, that's going to go over that well. I get enough crap as it is. Being a Jets fan, and I live up in upstate New York, so. I don't know how Cardona feels, but it's a little bit of the opposite. Side headlock here by Cardona. You won't live long if you live in up western New York and you say that you're a Giants or a Jets fan in Bill's country, that's for damn sure. Running neckbreaker by Rude. To the corner. Cardona, double underhook, power bomb. To the cover to win the title, kick out by Rude. It appeared at almost at 2.9. That Rude just barely got the shoulder up. And we've seen Cardona try to go for the reboot several times in this matchup against Ford last week. I don't believe he was successful in hitting that maneuver, but maybe he can here against Rude. Went to the well too many times. Spine buster by Rude. Rude just trying to shake off the cobwebs in that left shoulder. Maybe that could be a, a point of attack for Cardona. Swats away the leg. Close line by Rude. Now Bobby Roode, we're going to put this matchup away, potentially, going for the glorious DDT, he had to use the bomb against Ford, Cardona busted open off the DDT, enough, Roode retains his title, now qualifies to use option C with the Twitch Championship. Double underhook power bomb from Cardona. Thought it was nearly over there. The beginning of the end, the glorious DDT from Bobby Roode. And he retains his championship. Congratulations to Bobby Roode for retaining his title. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event of the evening. The Rana Cast Wrestling Women's Championship on the line. Sasha Banks earned this opportunity by defeating Paige on Strike Zone. Banks, a former women's champion here. As I take a look back at our record book, she actually defeated Nikki Bella, made Nikki tap out to the bank statement back at Hell on Earth in 2017. So a lightning strike twice for Sasha Banks to win the world championship again. It will remain to be seen as we wait for the champion to arrive make her way down to the ring. It's also worth noting back at that match in 2017, as I mentioned, that there was a third competitor in that match, that being Charlotte Flair, who was not involved in the decision. So really, Sasha set the precedent that long ago that she can defeat the champion and she can make the champion submit to win a championship and have to pin the third competitor. The 
Nikki Bella, one of the longest reigning champions in the company history. Her current reign at over 380 days. That's just on this run since she won the title last year at Breakout. And that's what it's all about, the Women's Championship. Here in RCW, Sasha Banks, Nikki Bella, let's get it on. Nikki Bella out of the gate with a flying forearm. Nikki Bella is a hell of a champion. No doubt about it. Future Hall of Famer if we ever get to that point, but she is a legend here in Rana Chaos Wrestling. Has won the most titles out of any competitor on this roster. Flapjack under the top rope from Nikki. Her track record speaks for itself here in RCW running Bulldog from Nikki Bella. It's also worth mentioning too that Sasha is also a great champion. She also, after she won the title in 2017 at Hell on Earth, she would go on to retain it in a fatal four-way ladder match at Final Bell. It's also the same night where Asuka would win a opportunity at the Women's Championship at a future time. Then she would win the championship from Sasha. Nikki driving the knee to the middle of the back of Sasha. Nikki Bella with the power van chair going for an Alabama slam. No way to protect yourself from there. Cover by Bella. Kick out. No way to protect yourself from an Alabama slam except for just brace for the impact. Up and over. Nikki Bella gets dumped by Sasha outside the ring. Nikki Bella has gone to war with Jordan Grace, especially when it came to that rounds match again at breakout. Back elbow by Sasha. And then retaining that title again against Jordan Grace. After the gala. After Jordan Grace won the gala. This time Nikki Bella hung up on the top rope. Sasha looking to get momentum building here. Running Meteor and knees to the chest of Nikki Bella. And slingshot it back inside the ring we go. Sasha going for the bankrupt here on the champion. This is going to be enough to put away Nikki Bella to win the title for a second time. No. Sasha seems to have Nikki's number in this match. Nikki has yet to put on a whole lot of offense running knee from Sasha. Taking down the champion. Really that sets her up for the executive order. That wheelbarrow bulldog out of the corner. Cover here by Sasha. Kick out by Nikki. Nikki's still very much alive in this match. We've seen her go to war again against Jordan Grace and even Maria Canellis in her title reign here. Sasha sweeps the leg. Single leg take down into. Working down on the knee. Cover here by Sasha yet again. Kick out by Nikki. Sasha now driving the knee. 
We're back at Nikki. Cover again by Sasha. Frequent covers, frequent ex more exhaustion being made by the champion. Smart strategy for Sasha. And now Sasha going for a Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper submission. That's not going to work. Is Nikki in the power game here? And yet again, this power advantage goes to Nikki. Nikki here. Nikki setting Sasha up for the rack attack. 2.0 connects. This is going to be enough for Nikki to retain her title here at Winner's Wrath. No. Sasha kicks out of the rack attack. Nikki now mounting a comeback here. Series of forearms into the drop kick. To Sasha, and there's the knee smash. Sasha. Getting caught by Nikki. Dragon Screw takedown. Seems to be a common theme here in our matches. I see a lot of Dragon Screws. A single leg toss from Nikki. Keep her looking for something there. Sasha may even go for the executive order yet again. Bella Buster by Nikki. And you can see the the little bit that it took for Nikki to get back up. The exhaustion is setting in on the champion. This will be enough to put away Sasha looking for the rack attack. No, drop to a hold by Sasha. And Sasha out of nowhere with the executive order. The executive order on Nikki. Sasha to win the championship yet again. Yes, Sasha has dethroned Nikki Bella. Here at Winner's Wrath, Sasha becomes a two-time women's champion here. Congratulations to Sasha Banks. A big victory here in Buffalo. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event coming up next. It is now time. For our main event, the World Championship on the line here, folks. Kevin Owens finally getting his, what he would claim to be a long overdue rematch from the events that happened at Gala, where he was rolled up by AJ to win the championship, even though he was well within rope break limits. The referee didn't see it and still called for the bell. He was more or less screwed out of the championship. Owens looking to avenge that loss at Gala. And at the rate that this show is going, I'm not 100% confident in AJ Styles to retain the championship here. We just saw the women's title change hands. And the Twitch and the tag team titles were retained successfully. AJ coming out here without Dominic Mysterio. Maybe worth noting. Maybe not. AJ does come into this match with a loss against Seth Rollins. So maybe it will be whoever wins here will face Seth Rollins. That remains to be seen. Also a former world champion here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling. With a lot of world title, a lot of world champions involved in the scene here. 
And we're in the chaos. AJ looking to retain his championship here in our main event. Let's not waste any time. These two going immediately at it. Striking in the middle of the ring. Styles and Owens. Talking under by AJ. AJ looking for maybe something like a belly to belly clothesline. Oh my god, from Kevin Owens. The ruthlessness coming out of Kevin Owens here. Again, wasting very little time going after the champion. Spinning back fist. Connection styles, and he's going for a little bit of a phenomenal blitz there. Owens got AJ up on his shoulders. AJ able to slide out the back. And able to escape. AJ looking to dissect KO here. Trying to neutralize the pop-up power bomb or as well as the package pile driver. And Styles going a little froggy with the frog splash. Cover here by Styles to retain his title. No. AJ dumped outside the ring. It's here mostly now. AJ in trouble. Axe handle dropped by Owens. I was thinking KO was going to go for a frog splash of his own, but I don't think he wants to go outside the ring with that maneuver. Both men well aware of the referee's 10 count. Bring this match back inside. Owens may have been looking for the cannonball there. AJ. Round and around we go where we stop. Nobody knows, but KO hitting the ground hard. Courtesy of Styles. Styles may have been looking for that neck breaker or possibly even try to go for the Styles Clash, but. Or excuse me, the calf crusher. Now he's just getting fed. Turnbuckle padding animal style. Kevin Owens looking to take an advantage and now going for the Canadian tradition, the sharpshooter. We are here in Buffalo. We're close to Toronto. DDT from Owens and AJ immediately back up on his feet. Owens, Kevin Owens going for the, that was going for the package power driver there. Could have been disastrous for AJ at the rate that this match was going. And 100 miles an hour cover here by Owens, kick out by Styles. Owens keeping control. From the neck of Kevin Owens. Now Owens driving the knee to the back of Styles, almost like right into the rib cage area. And the floating rib. Now Owens with his own frog splash connects to Styles. And Owens maybe looking to put this match away. AJ able to capital. Able to catch it and counter. And there we see it. AJ going for that. Nope, going not for the neck breaker yet.
AJ going out on the apron looking for the phenomenal forearm to connect with Kevin Owens halfway across the ring and he does rolling into the cover AJ to retain his championship here winners wrath no Kevin Owens with the kick out I would have firmly believed that that would have been it right there as well as everyone here in the key bank center Owens able to get a knee right into the face of AJ. Puts him down to a side headlock. Owens continuing to wrench on the neck of AJ from his grounded position. Styles able to elevate it into a standing side headlock. These two men are just going tit for tat here. Both men seem to have an answer for each seem to have an answer for one another's moves. Now the second course of padding, courtesy of AJ. You can see the exhaustion setting in on Styles. Cover. Almost a two count. Both men are being absolutely spent here. There's the neck breaker. Both men are absolutely spent in this match, and they know it's for the world championship, so they got to put everything on the line. Got to push themselves to the limit. Styles. Going for the Styles. Clash to Kevin Owens. Connects, flips him over. Be enough. What? 2.9 from Kevin Owens kicks out of the Styles Clash. Honest to God, I thought that was it there. AJ almost beside himself that he can't believe it either. Now Styles focusing on the surgical repaired knees of Kevin Owens. Now applying the rear chin lock. Here on to Owens. And that chin lock's still in deep. AJ trying to signal this is the end of the match. Owens not quite. Owens is not done. the corner Owens looking for here DDT from the top turnbuckle cover here by Owens to win the title AJ kicks out Owens wasting very little time here trying to put AJ away goes for the pop pop power bomb Rolls into the cover to win the title yet again. Owens is your new world champion. Kevin Owens redeems himself and is walking out of Winner's Wrath as the new world champion. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at Winner's Wrath. We thank you everybody so much for watching. Make sure to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.